Another wild day of thunderstorms across the bi-state area, mostly south of Metro St. Louis. As we kind of pointed out yesterday, most of the action would fire up along a little boundary in the atmosphere. That was a cold front, and it certainly did this afternoon. It really developed, though, rapidly around lunchtime, building quickly, and now dying out as it's moved to the south. A couple of things to look at, though, on the Doppler radar. Obviously, you see the areas of rain that are kind of spreading out away from the initial buildup that was in South St. Louis County. Uh, as that continues a southward track, a couple of spots where there is a little lightning and thunder right now southeast of Rolla, also a little lightning and thunder near Carbondale and Fredericktown, but these storms are pretty much collapsing. There's also a little outflow boundary right in through there, and you can kind of see it progressing to the north and northeast. A lot of times when you see that coming out of a thunderstorm complex and it's moving into somewhat warm and unstable air, there is the possibility of a few buildup showers and storms within this zone. So we'll watch that carefully uh, over the next couple of hours, but nothing really shaking at the moment. Big view shows those thunderstorms south and future cast keeps them dying out as the sun goes down tonight it is a quiet night. Tomorrow morning looks good 7 a.m. and out the door dry, quiet and fairly calm, but warm and humid. So once again, we'll watch the afternoon sky. Most of the action should remain well away from the metro area, either well south or well to the north, but there could be a couple of buildup clouds tomorrow afternoon and evening, maybe an isolated downpour here or there. Saturday, quiet and dry once again, same scenario, but most of the action is south of Metro St. Louis. So, few clouds building and dying and clearing out and then building again. And that view from Richmond Heights shows just a little cloud cover trying to interact with that outflow boundary. And we'll keep an eye on a few of those building cumulus clouds. Not anything of note just yet. We're at 91 degrees, dew point at 70. Winds are calm right now, so warm, humid, and calm. With that, tr with that trio, we say the atmosphere is close. Go outside and it's just on you right away. So humidity high, dew points are high with a heat index currently of 97. You'll feel all of that if you're going outside this evening. 91 the high, 76 the morning low. So jump start on the warm up today. And with those building clouds, showers and storms, watch that South County and Northern Jefferson County view with build of thunderstorms and then dropping south into St. Genevieve. That's where we got that microburst coming out of the thunderstorm and those gusts of wind. So damage in St. Genevieve as we've been showing you. Calm atmosphere now. Things look pretty quiet as the cold front that's caused this kind of slides to the east just a bit. We're opening the door for a little shift in the atmosphere. A little more warm air tries to filter in. So temperatures are going to go up slowly but surely over the next few days. Looking at temperatures tomorrow, 80s and low 90s. I think we're pretty solidly in the low 90s here tomorrow afternoon. Summertime feel. Let's watch for a couple of these clouds tonight. An isolated storm still possible. 73 for the overnight low. Tomorrow, same deal. Low 90s, partly cloudy skies. Let's watch for a few clouds trying to build to give us an isolated storm. And then tomorrow night, all is quiet and 73 for the low. Saturday and Sunday, warmest days. Highs, low 90s. Humidity is up there too. And then a cold front tries to work in Monday. Brings a renewed threat of storms. Slight chance Monday. Bigger chance Monday night and into Tuesday and beyond that there may be a little bit more in the way of cooler air trying to filter in for the middle of next week.